Hey guys, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. Well, I just finished about six days of working on the rig, cleaning her all up, and doing a complete rewax. Uh, was the side walls were starting to get pretty hazy looking. It's reached eight years now, and uh, basically the the coating on the side, instead of being nice and shiny and smooth, it was starting to get kind of chalky and uh, the regular wax wasn't cutting it so I had to actually go to an oxidation remover. Anyway, I thought I'd go through at this point and show you all the different products I use for cleaning the rig and go from, from starting the cleaning step right to the final detailing. So let's go. We start on the roof and on the roof I just use Dawn dishwashing soap with some water. <clears throat> then I get my brush just a soft bristled brush on a nice extension pole and I just go through the whole the whole roof area and give it a good scrub down. I do that three or four times a year so it stays in pretty good shape. If you do it quite often then you won't get so much uh, stuff coming down the sides, side walls of the rig so you don't get as much black streaks. But uh, if you do get black streaks uh, I usually get them on the front quite a bit and I found you buy this black streak remover that they sell at the RV things and they're almost useless hardly do anything to kill the black streaks but because I'm going to be re-waxing it at the same time I found simple green works really well just straight concentrated wipes them out really quick um, but of course it'll also strip the wax so you're going to have to be re-waxing it at the same time so that's a good product Another product recently a fellow RVer tuned me into is this Bugs and All. Um, and it, he said, he gave me this and said, give it a try. And really, it really worked good on the bugs. It's supposed to dissolve any organic material. So if you have problems with bugs on the front, that might be a good product. So between those two, <clears throat> it took care of most of my bugs and my black streaks. And anything that was really hard, some places where some of the rubber had stuck or road grime, the final um, option I use is mineral spirits. We have to be pretty careful with that, especially you don't want to use it too much on the rubber roof. It's, it's okay to kind of wipe it away quickly, but you don't want to leave it in pool because it can cause problems with the rubber roof. Another option is acetone for the, the rubber roof, but I find this is pretty good on the fiberglass if I'm trying to get a really tough stain out. So once I got all the streaks and stuff removed and the roof cleaned then I go around and just get, use a, a, a nice car wash. Um, I use something I picked up at Walmart as Armor All. It seems to do a good job. I'm very gentle on, on the, the fiberglass coating. Now I'm ready for waxing and this time rather than going straight to a wax I use this oxidation remover. I guess it's called Meguiar's 49 Marine RV oxidation remover heavy duty cleaner and I couldn't believe how well that worked. It's kind of uh, got a grit to it. It goes on kind of ye it's a yellow kind of liquid with a bit of a fine grit and it really right away got rid of that chalkiness and haziness that was building up. Let's give you a photo of a before and after shot that I took. It's kind of in the shade but you can see the dramatic difference so that stuff really worked well. And after that I went to what I normally use. Um, um, I had a full bottle of this or else I probably would have tried their, their wax but I've been using this for years, this RV boat and aircraft wax uh, P38Q and it's kind of a, a paste wax and it, it goes on nice and it's pretty easy to get off. A little bit of elbow, elbow grease to get it off but it, I find it really lasts a long time, keeps it nice and shiny for a long time. And then we go to a few other protectants here for rubber. Um, this Protectol is a is a nice spray wax like I use it quite often if I just want to touch up the truck or for a quick in-between waxes but I really like it for uh, using it on the windows and the black trim around the windows I think it does a really good job and helps keep the windows clean. Um, this 303 protectant I use it on any of the vinyl stuff and uh, use it on my tires 
and any and a lot of the rubber bits and pieces. I use it a lot on my truck. Got a lot of black on the truck there, black vinyl, and it really does a good job on that and helps it uh, protect with a good UV protectant. So, and I use that on my awning as well. And then of course on the slide out there's some rubber rubber uh, seals, and I find this another protect all product works pretty good at keeping the the rubber seals looking good. Um, as far as uh, what I do for waxing, this went with the two things. Putting on the wax, I just used an old old bed sheet cut up into rags, and then to buff it off, a terry terry microfiber kind of terry cloth towel here, and that worked pretty good. So this time I went with with my muscle. <laughs> um, didn't use any any power equipment or anything like that. So. I had to put this on first and then that so I've had to really wax the whole thing twice so that's why it took so long I was just doing a, a section a day sort of thing over the course of multiple days but if you guys have any recommendations for an audible uh, waxer um, I'm not sure whether to get a cordless one or a corded I've kind of read online that it's better to have a more powerful corded one but I don't want anything too big that I gotta cart around in the rig so so far I've been pretty good at doing it myself but it kind of would be nice to have a bit of power so any recommendations leave them in the comments also if you have any other product recommendations I'm always interested but overall that's that's the things that I use uh, one more thing to show you here was this hose this is a 50 foot uh, hose I've carried around for about a year. It's called Zero G. And uh, I went through a few hoses. I had a big 50 foot uh, rubber hose, but it was kind of unwieldy to, to move around. And eventually it, it, it failed and started leaking. So I bought a few of those, uh, those ones you see advertised on TV that automatically coil up small, kind of collapsible material. But I went through and busted a few of those pretty quick. So this Zero G is kind of like a hybrid in between. It's got, it's got rubber inside, but it's got kind of a material outside canvas on the outside. And so far I haven't broke it. But the nice part is it's 50 feet long and it, it coils up nice and light. I can just keep it in this little bucket here. So it's kind of in between those two hoses and it's worked quite well. And to climb up high on the rig, I've got my uh, Warner ladder, telescopic ladder. Usually in, in this uh, form, I can stand right on the top and, and reach the, the highest point of the rig. Or if I flip it up into full extension, it goes 13 feet and I can get really to the very top top of the rig. So it comes in handy. It's a nice stable ladder. I did a review on it when I got it, but it's got the the wide base on it so it's really really sturdy you don't feel like you're on a rickety ladder at all well there you go there's all my product recommendations for cleaning and uh, waxing up the old RV make it look spick and span new again till next time Ray from loveyrv.com cheers everyone